Charlie Poots, Nine Track Mind is the album that we're listening to today. I was sent this uh, by Screagle Eagle, who sent in $369 for me to listen to this. And you may be like, who's crazy enough to do that? I just told you who, Screagle Eagle, who has sent in a lot of music. Not always good, but at least it's always something. Charlie Puth's album, Nine Track Mind, I believe is the debut. I'll be honest, I don't actually have any information or a script in front of me, so I could be completely wrong. Uh, but as you can see, people don't really like this album. Um, and it's very infamous for being bad. But it's also very popular, and it has a lot of hits off of it. Regardless, today I listened to the album in full, and here's my full thoughts. We're listening to an entire... Charlie Puth album. I have a bad feeling that I know which one this is. Like, I, I have a bad feeling that I already know what I'm getting into. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, got it. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, no, nah, dude. This is a uh, nine-track mind. Twelve tracks. This thing's very popular. We don't talk about Selena Gomez. Got Marvin Gaye and Get It On. It's got One Call Away. Now, I actually kind of like One Call Away. I, I'm not even gonna lie, this song's all right. Not the worst thing in the world. Or at least I don't remember hate. Uh, it's only 41. You say it's only 41 minutes. Only 41 minutes, bro. But yeah, anyways, uh, we're gonna suffer through this thing. Thank you, Screagle Eagle, for sending this in and for torturing me and uh, making me suffer through nine track of mine, so. And maybe it'll be good, who knows? Maybe it'll actually be good. First song, One Call Away. I'm only one. I'll be there to save the day. That's the same thing I thought. Is like it's called Nine Track Mind with twelve tracks. I mean that's that's confusing. Please refund this album. Sucks. What's so funny is like quite literally Charlie Puth is Captain Save a Ho on this song. Basically saying Superman got nothing on me. Bro, he's literally Superman to these hoes. I've listened to too much hip hop. <laughs> this shit is ridiculous. And that's not the only part about this album that's extremely white, by the way. In fact, I'd say that this is probably the uh the the least offensive moment of this uh, at least from what I've heard of this project. I have a bunch of important, uh, like, documents opened on this computer. I just realized that, that I should probably close out of those. Um, yeah, like, on different tabs. Like, like straight up, like, tax ID type shit. <laughs> I just thought it was worth mentioning, because, I mean, this, look, this computer got hacked, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, <laughs> it's a big oops. Bro, at least I get paid at work. <laughs> Bro, at least I get paid to work at T... TJ Maxx and hear this stuff? Bro, I'm getting paid more than you to listen to this shit. Let's be honest, all right? I think it's the opposite. I think that uh, it's, it should be at least you're getting paid, in my case, at least I'm getting paid to listen to this and you have to listen to it while you're at TJ Maxx. Wait, Tina got rid of the pop filter. Tina! Wah! Wah, Tina, wah! Tina God damn it. Ugh. This is what I get for trusting these hoes. For trying to be a Superman. For Superman sweeping in, alright? <laughs> Men used to go to war and now they do this. I agree. Actually, I think this song's more in the positive for me. Especially for Charlie Puth songs. This is extremely derivative, but I actually think that it's somewhat catchy. And it's sweet, even though it's tacky and Captain save a -ho. I actually don't hate this. I don't hate this. Uh, to start off. It's like he's so dorky and desperate that it's like he's dripping off the page and I actually think that it uh, leads to an entertaining enough experience So even though it's boring as a motherfucker, it's a shrug for me. I don't hate it Squeagle thought he was torturing me with this album turns out the sounds actually amazing and I'm I love it. It's great So jokes on you sucker. Thanks for the money sprout. Good to see you. Well, I heard somebody just turned 18 Is it you sprout? Have you just turned 18? Are you able to operate an AK-47? Then welcome to the Brad Army. Enjoy. Hoo ha! I'm only one. Go away. Next song, Dangerously. Oh my God! It's literally that synth. I've never paid more attention to it now than I like like ever before than I have now. The the Ed Sheeran boom boom boom. Oh, 
It's censored. Wait. Is this the official album? Or is this like the censored version? There's no way, right? Nope. That's, this is the only version of the album and it's censored, of course. Why even bother? Why even bother? Seriously. There's no forgetting you. Oh, good God, dude. Oh, my God. Why is it so bad, though? Because it's tacky. It's extremely tacky while also simultaneously sounding bright. And, like, it's supposed to be extravagant. It's also just super melodramatic. Hey, Fallen Angel. The snares. I love you dangerously. More, oh, more than the... Wait, more than the air that he loved you more than the air that he breathes or more dangerously than the air that he breathes because he's sniffing his own farts so much on this album. Lucas Graham! See, same with Nickelback. Nothing here is offensively bad, just incredibly mediocre. Yep. Yeah, I agree. These first two songs are just very inoffensive. This song, more offensive than the last, maybe because it's more extravagant. Um, I think it takes more risks, and honestly, those risks don't pay off for me. I think it's just a big mess. It's a shrug. A low shrug. Is this what they call incel core? I don't think I would call this incel music. Because Charlie Puth, even though he sounds like a wimp, probably is like drowning in pussy. Or dick. Whichever way he goes, you know. Not ju not judging, not shaming, okay? Dangerously. <laughs> Mangle, thank you for joining the Red Army. Yo, it's Mar less Marvin Gaye and Get It On featuring Megan Trainer. This is this is the song right here. When I say it gets whiter, this is what I was referencing to. This is a bad one. This 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 one's rough. Hey! Oh my god, a key change. Oh my god. Oh my Trapaholics mixtapes. It does sound like Made You Look. That's the thing, is like it's a collaboration. Uh it's a collaboration with Megan Trainer, which is why it sounds like this doo-op garbage. And as you'll see, it does to actually get worse. It does get worse. Thank you, Darwin. Yeah, this is like possibly one of the least. No, it is. It's one of the least sexy songs about sex I've ever heard that turns it into this soy, like vanilla garbage that just sounds so boring and so dull. There it is. So much bass. <laughs> during black history month you know what's sad i was at disney for like forever and i i completely forgot there was i i don't think i saw a single thing that was reminding me that it was black history month in fact that is the first time in 18 days that i was told or at least reminded that it's black history month isn't that crazy i haven't seen a single other thing When are we getting White History Month? Uh, you know what's sad? I actually enjoy this album up to this point more than the new one. Um, I, I actually thought that that tick bait, uh, tick tock, tick bait, tick tock bait garbage was somehow worse than this. Like, even though I think this is like one of the worst offenders of just being white ever, I still think that is better than the new shit. And my God, that trap breakdown in the middle. I mean, that is straight up self parody, dude. This would be the White History Month anthem. You're right. <sighs> What's whiter, this or Tally Hall? This. Like, let's be honest. What Tally Hall is very white. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, even, as much as I like to make fun of Tally Hall, I'm I'm at least going to give him. You know what? You know what? I'll let you decide. Actually, I'll let you decide. Can I get a T? And if you hit me with the A L L Y, then you'd see why the hall is here for y'all. Well. This is better, I don't care. I will say it is at least a little bit better, but it's still pretty tacky. I remember listening to the Megan song while I had a headache, probably the most painful headache I've ever had. I blame this song. Marvin Gaye is a red headphones. I think that it is disgusting. Oh.
I think that it has some redeemable elements, all of which are completely buried by the fact that it's a song called Let's Marvin Gay and Get It On. Good God. Marvin Gay is a red headphones brand. <laughs> Taste of music. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I guess technically, yeah. Next song, Losing My Mind. I, I like that they have the song Losing My Mind directly after Marvin Gaye. Fuck all you hoes! Detroit till I die, motherfucker! You know this song? Hey! Charlie Poo. Yeah. Sample is really bad. You wanna listen to some Death Grips to wake us up? Sure, after this song. It's literally a beat off of Imagine Dragons Origins. Or probably the other way around. See, that song actually has some good melodies. Uh, especially in that end, there's like nothing to lose. I'm losing my mind. You know, it has some moments, but uh, besides that, it's actually just pain. And uh, the trap sounds terrible. And it's frustrating. It's a... <coughs> Oh, uh, I clicked the wrong button on accident. <laughs> that was actually an accident. It's a strong red headphones to a light shrug. Dog. Scared the shit out of me. Let's lose. Oh, the sample was terrible too. Let's lose our way and get it on. We don't talk anymore featuring Selena Gomez. This is the big hit from the album with literally like almost 1.5 billion streams, which is literally, it's li literally insane. We don't talk anymore. I've heard this song a lot. Oh yeah, I did say Death Grips. Here's a total change of pace right here. Alright, there you go. You're welcome. You're fantanoing right now? Literally me listening to, <laughs> to music nonstop for forever. Of course you don't talk anymore. She moved on and you didn't. What do you mean we don't talk anymore like we used to do? Like, bro. Let me pause real quick. All right, Disney may be the worst company that's ever existed. Anyways, Disney, worst company ever. Disney World, it's pretty great. If you have the money to spend. If you go to Disney World on a budget, all right, you're going to be waiting in lines. You're going to be looking at a bunch of food you can't have. All right. I went to Disney World and I said, you know what? I should even tell you guys. I, I, I had a budget of... <laughs> I don't even want to say it. I'm going to feel embarrassed because you guys are the ones giving me money. But I, I... Look, I'll just say I had the time of my life. All right. I had a budget of $3,000. $3,000 to spend at Disneyland or Disney World. <laughs> yeah. Three grand. Uh, and I stayed for 10 days, but that's, uh, but that was for covering for two people as well. Cause I was paying for everything that Tina was getting too. So, so that's basically 150 per person a day. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I, I don't know if I spent it all. I might've spent it all, but regardless. Yeah. So you go to Disneyland on, with a, with a budget though, you get the lightning lane, dude. I, me and Tina, we went on like 20 20 plus rides at uh hollywood studios one day hey you just got a little bit of cheddar it's gonna improve your experience a thousand times all right <laughs> 20 dollar dasani it's true they have nothing but dasani there and it's all like six dollars a bottle it's awful it, i needed it i haven't had a vacation in literally forever and it was like the best time i've ever had i was literally like me and tina we keep reminiscing we're like we we gotta go back we gotta go back we ate at the disney castle we ate at the restaurant where it looks like you're in space we ate at a steakhouse we ate at a place that was all you can eat with like noodles and wings and steak and all the best stuff. It was literally like dream vacation. You've probably paid for an entire vacation at this point. The only person who has is Ned. Like you have no idea how expensive that Disney vacation was. We say, I didn't even tell you where we stayed. We stayed at the Polynesian. We stayed at the Polynesian. Okay, that's the deluxe resort. It's so deluxe that you could just take a boat directly to the Magic Kingdom. You just walk outside and go take a boat to the to Disney World, all right? And then if you don't want to take the boat, then you take the monorail. You know what I'm saying? All right? We, we're living pretty good. Living pretty good. It was like the best 10, <laughs> 10 days of my life. <laughs> Never mind not donating anymore. The song actually is pretty well produced. 
Kung Fu Panda trilogy. First movie's great, next two are overrated. Why did talking about your vacation suddenly make this song better? I, you know, I feel the exact same way. I want to do a cruise next. What's, you know what's so funny is like, I could buy probably three cruise vacations for the price of that entire Disney vacation. Like you, like again, you have no idea. You have no idea. Let's just say that I think it might've <laughs> peaked over 10K <laughs> in total. I would probably be pushing it, but still. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally five hundred dollars a night at the Polynesian, like, like five hundred a night for like all that extra stuff and plus park admission plus food. I said, I said three k spending money, <laughs> and it wasn't including everything else. It wasn't including everything else. <laughs> yeah, that's Disney for you, dude. It's not robbery because I had the best time of my life. Like, it was the best vacation I've ever had. Like, I actually believe I got what I paid for, and I think it was worth it. Like, that, that should tell you that, like, it was actually worth it. Like, so many great, so much great food, so many uh, great rides. It was just, it, it was amazing. Did Tina also pay? Tina paid in uh, making the whole trip happen. She, she, she didn't pay for anything. I, it all came from me. <laughs> she gave him 10K to a mouse. Unfortunately, yeah. Did I cry when I saw the castle? No, but I cried when I saw your mom's tits. I did ride pirates. Look, this song has some of my favorite moments of this entire album so far, as well as some of my least favorite lyrics. Thank you, Darwin. Least favorite lyrics being, uh, like, all this, this whole boring, annoying love story, but the sound is great. It hits that pop itch, you know what I mean? That, that pop itch that's in my brain, so it's a shrug. I don't hate it. Darwin. <laughs> Literally speedrunning, giving away memberships. Anyone who has a membership, by the way, you are able to access the new hidden video. You do actually get new content from it. It's not just a, you know, not just a visual thing. Um, plus, you'll get a new video this month as well. Thank you, Fly. You guys are the best. Didn't even pay attention to it. I mean, to be fair, it's hard to pay attention to any of these songs. I mean, they're, it's literally like by the numbers story with by the numbers resolution. Is Selena Gomez literally an industry plant, like to the max? Like, there's never been more industry plant than Selena Gomez. My gospel. Hold on, I gotta get water. Here's one benefit of being rich, okay? Which I'm, I'm not, but if I was, all right, then listen. So, I left the DoorDash order from Chipotle out in the, um, let's just say that it was delivered 15 minutes ago and it's cold out. Very cold. <laughs> It's okay. We'll just buy a new one. You know, we'll just sit, we'll throw it out and buy a new one. Next, Charlie Puth song is titled "My Gospel." Oh boy. Oh God. I can put a ski mask on and walk out with a million bucks. Then I burn it in a pile on your front lawn just to prove it didn't mean that much. Dude, Charlie Puth knows what it's at. That's that's about how I spend money right there. You know, that's 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 a hell of an opening line. When did this turn into a love song? I've had better days. Wow, no balls. Which game does Charlie have? You guys underestimate white women. Seriously, this shit works. I have no doubt that this will get you enough pussy to stack a pile to the Eiffel Tower. All right. Just, I'm just saying, like this, this they ain't. This game ain't my game. It's really doobie white girl background music. Uh, this is an Ed Sherman tank. Look, my thought was a little messed up because I'm eating hot sauce. Listen. As much as these, this song specifically sucks. Dog. This album is just forgettable. Not even the worst thing I've ever heard. Not even close to it. This song's ridiculous. I don't really like it, but I'm still alive, you know? I don't like this song because love's not real. Let's be honest. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's Bradley from the future here. Despite this entire video just being me talking about my vacation, turns out this album actually has nothing else worth listening to. So I'm actually going to skip the next five tracks and just get to the very end because let me tell you right now, you're not missing out on much except for a bit of small talk. So yeah.
Anyways, uh, yeah, song's over. Um, that was the exact same song as the first one. It's just the same as the second one. Same as the third one. Same as, you know what I'm saying? Right here, get, get the fuck out of here. Dog. Oh, straight ass. I mean, that was straight ass. But it's not the worst thing Charlie Puth has done. I actually like this better. I feel this album inside of me, yeah. You should make an inspirational post about it. About how this album connected with you on a deeper level. Um, this is not the worst album I've heard, but it's really underwhelming. It's, uh, I'll, I'll just tell you, it's a 2 plus to a 3 minus. Not, I, I don't like it. I think that's got, like, Charlie Puth has a decent voice, but, and uh, he's got a crazy falsetto, but, I mean, it just, it's all that outdated doo-wop garbage, and, like, really just the same song over and over again. It is, it's Nickelback Syndrome, it, it, but it's, ugh, it's just so white. Like, my eyes burn after that, dude. Thank you so much, Scriggle, for sending this in. And before we send off and, and leave, I want to see this thing you sent me, uh, the chandelier cover. I figure since he sent in a whole album, it's the least I can do. Thing when will I learn? Won't look down, won't open my eyes. Keep my glass. Oh yeah, I didn't even. Say, yeah, uh, not. So I spent a lot of money at Disney, but we ate at the Disney Castle, right? So I was at Disney Castle. I was like, we're here, let's go crazy. I ordered two full uh, champagne flights. As well as I liked one, so I ordered a glass of it. What's my Patreon? That's a good question. It's usually in the link of my uh, videos, but I'll be honest, I haven't done anything with it, and it I might even delete it at some point. So uh, going over there and trying to do stuff is probably not the best idea. Anyways, two flights. Uh, we got like the fanciest meal ever. It was like sixty something bucks a person for me and Tina. So, and then I had an allergic reaction to the food. Not good. Cross-contamination at the Disney Castle. Not very good. Okay? But. But. They waived the meal. It was a $250 meal. They waived it. Hey. That's pretty good. All right. I got to say. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a W right there. A little bit of pain for a little bit of price off the trip. <laughs> I mean, it, it, that's the thing. It's like, I've had way worse allergic reactions. It was still pretty awful. And it, I, I think that the after effect was, like, almost vacation ruining. But still, it was, uh, you know. Not out, uh, it was a pine nut allergy. It was a pesto. They, they prepared our meal on the same thing that they prepare pesto. So it was cross-contaminated. Anyways, new tactic. No, you. that's the thing. You can't fake an allergic reaction. Even for me, I, I was, like, keeping my composure, but, like, you could tell. Every time I breathed, it sounded like an engine, like, uh, uh, uh. like, I was like, uh, uh. like, the, the thing in the back of my throat was, like, like a ladle, you know what I mean? Like, like you know, um, uh, teapots, right, on a, on a kettle? A kettle, that's what it is, right? And it has that little lid, it was like that, all right? You can't fake that. <laughs> Thank you, Darwin. <laughs> All right. I ain't skipping this shit. Fuck you, Scriggle.